Uh, oh. Uh, Nets Mushroom Quest Chronicle. My sister Maggie oh, and I came all the way out to Hebra in our quest for mushrooms. Thanks to the people, all sorts of new caves formed along here, and they're just full of good stuff. There are many mushrooms. There should be, but I didn't see many mushrooms in caves. But my sister and I aren't after bribe seeds or in our deposits. No, we're after the precious mushroom that only grows in caves. And you can bet we're gonna find a ton of them. I oh, don't remember if Nat or Megan that was the one that actually wanted the mushrooms. Uh. Nat, please, I just can't do this. Uh, at least not with this cave. There are lots of other caves opened by the people. Let's try a different one. This one is surely full of creatures different from anything we know. And I was already itching to go home. Ah. Come on, this is... You can do it. I mean, we travel all this way. We need to get those bright caps inside at least. That's what we came for. And you can find them only in caves. We made it here safe and sound. I can't bear to leave until I have 10 of them. Let's go in. Please, we've got to. Uh -huh. Then go by yourself, Ned. Oh. Wait, what? No, we need to go together. What? Oh, that aroma, the soft light. Oh, I have some. Could it be you have some bright caps? I really, really want bright caps. And 10 of them will do the trick. Would you give them to me? If I have them? Yeah, ah. I think I'll play. Thank you, I don't expect them for nothing, so here, I'll trade you for this. Spicy tomato mushroom stew. We didn't have tomatoes before. The uh, green slow level cold resistance. A dish of fragrant mushrooms simmered with tomato. Uh, healthy and rich in fiber. You're a lifesaver. Now I don't need to go into that awful cave. But I have to say, it's amazing they collect so many red caps. I mean... They're found, they're found only in caves like this? Oh. Yes, it is amazing. Oh, you love a good cave, don't you? And so do I. They can hold all sorts of wonderful things, alluring things, valuable things. Like the gems from our deposits, bright moon seeds, to illuminate dark places, and bright caps, of course. So, you know, if you had enough of these bright caps, then maybe you could try, you know. Uh -huh. uh, not, nothing about that, are you? And him? Well, I never, not that, unless no, maybe, um. right, we agree, I think, uh, sorry, forgot I heard anything about that, sister's secret, uh. but if we meet again, it'd be fate, wouldn't it, then we have to tell him, uh. well, Ned, has this guy caught your eye or what, uh. don't be ridiculous, that was just a thanks for the bright caps, but I will say we're scurrying high and low for something here in the Hebrew regions. We searched most of the south, and so now we intend to go to the north. If we meet again, we'll tell you that secret of ours. Well, see you. Oh. Hey, let's head out, Megan. <laughs> and see you around. Okay, so there's more to it. Oh, yeah. It started again, the stream so the bot started over. But if she just wanted the bright caps, she could have bought it from somewhere else or something. I thought she wanted the thrill of catching them. Huh. Oh, just a little one. Oh, I'm dead for a little while. A rock sledge, although now decay, this lightweight metal spear was made for royal soldiers because it's light and easy to handle. It enables quicker charge attacks. Oh, that's new.
Harbling Claw, a Talon Tame from Harbling, attached to an arrow to increase its attack power, or a steel creature to make an elixir. Oh. So, experience by Red Soldiers, points not decay, steel balls quick. Uh, ah, I put this quick text in the air and produce a strong wind. Nice. Kite Shield. Rit Warriors Tirish. The shield, its unique shape designed with mid battle flight in mind to facilitate aerial combat. Oh, Frostbite Church, made for ancient rituals. This item called Absorbing Clothes. This items called Absorbing Clothes produce frost in low temperature environments. Go weather attack. But does it also protect me from the cold? Uh, no, I think this is all night. Yeah. I, I thought it looked really. Uh, I thought it looked Shika at first. And that's where it was. No. device <laughs> yeah but just because it's supposed to be better than that yeah not that great either. Mm -hmm. oh that's new i don't remember can i take a picture of those things They respawn here. No. Let's try like that. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I hope I don't fall. Okay, that was good. Uh, okay, no more chests. Oh, 
There could be some for me to take with me. No. Oh, I didn't even notice they took their whole cave. Look at Clover, does it? Uh, hang on, look on that. Huh. Crazy, our editor here is getting ready for a big Princess Zelda investigation. You're about you're sure about our newspaper, right? Then you can talk to me too. I'm next in charge. Oh, oh wait a minute, it's you. I gotta say, you did a good job getting out here to find us. It's quite a hike from Luca Laney when you haven't got wings, but here you are. Was it easy to find the place? Ah. Some folks passed by without a second look. After all, it was a stable until Tracy cheated the previous owner out of it. But you don't miss a thing, do you? Not bad, not bad at all. I assume you came came for the job. You want to work for the newspaper, right? I'll vouch for you, Tracy. Ah. Just picture it, traveling the world as a reporter shining light on the truth. We will be partners out of here, out there. Ah. Hey, quiet. Ah? Don't you listen, Pen? I told you I was busy, but you keep bothering me. And another thing, I bought this place from the owner after we came to a fair mutual beneficial agreement. Could you stop telling people I cheated him out of it? Oh. I'm sorry, Tracy, but there's a new applicant for the reporter job. I wanted you to know. Huh? New applicant. Hmm, hang on. You look like... Ah. Uh, hey, sorry, but could you could you give me this guy a second here? Okay, so she remembers me. She was completely optional during the other game. You could miss easily miss her, but she we met her. Ah. All right, how about you give me the whole story link? I'm the editor of the Lucky Clover Gazette here. If you couldn't tell, so don't worry. I know everyone involved with this story. Pura asked us for help digging into what's happened to Princess Zelda. Now, tell me everything. What exactly brought you here? Uh. Uh, he got... Uh, I think his nails are blue with this suit. Uh, interesting, so that's why she asked you to investigate places seriously impacted by the upheaval. Ah. Well, coming here was a great call. Well, what I mean is we're getting tips from all over Hyrule. So many, in fact, that it's been hard to keep up. And among those tips, we've been hearing about someone who looks like a princess appearing in all sorts of sub places. Ah. I was about to assign Pen to chase those leads, but he could use a partner. I won't tell Pen who you are. It's better if no one knows you're involved. What do you say? I think you could work with him to, as we investigate? Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do this for free, so that'd be nice. Wait just a second, I'm going to get you a little incentive from the back. <sighs> Here we go. Oh, oh cool. Tada! The full set of froggy armor oh i didn't know this was a froggy armor on oh, the feet yeah. with that all it's easy to cling to wet surfaces no slipping okay uh you will work with pain to chase down all those new stories then i'll give you this armor oh piece by piece all yours how, how exactly does the cap helps me cling to walls uh, a pretty good deal there, Link. Anyway, that's my offer. Hey! And you can come back. Alright. That's a good incentive. Oh. Starting now, this guy is your partner. Huh. 
Well, if your editor here says you're in, then it looks like I had you sized up right. Tracy knows how to pick him. Ah. Alright, you two, here's what you're going to do. Visit every stable for leads. Pen, you had this all up. Stables bring in people and people bring in details. And details are what we need. Now, get me some news. Well, you could just give them. I would do them for free anyway. Ah. So, the set of frog armor cut your eye. <laughs> With that, you clean to wet surfaces without sleeping, where you need to go back places, work with pain to get to the bottom of the rumors about Princess Zelda. I'll give you frog armor piece by piece. If this is about Princess Zelda, it kind of feels like the main quest. I mean, it doesn't feel like a main quest, but it's aligned with the object of the big quest. Wow. Uh, okay. And this guy steps so box for all of our kind of these leads. Get on there, spoon up a few. Alright, the archives are currently closed. Check back later. Chuanel. Are you Chuanel? Uh. No. Who is Chuanel? Uh, just a dream? Mm. Yes, it's time to collect some wood. No kidding shortcuts. My Hylian Pine Con mishap told me that. Uh, gotta do the work and chop down the trees. Huh? Oh. oh, welcome. This is Richard's table. Uh, uh, no, it's not. It's the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm sorry. All hats die hard. Harder than stables do, clearly. Uh, uh, just, just do a job. So if you have business with the Lucky Clover Gazette, please ask somebody inside. Lucky Clover Gazette. Uh. This place was once a stable and I was once its owner. Oh. But when that terrible cold wave rolling, it froze up our business along with the rest of Hebrew. Oh. Which is why the stable is closed and the Lucky Clover Gazette has bought out the old space. I don't have anywhere else to go, so I thought I'd try to help out around here. Mm. Not that I'm much good at it. I just learned the terrifying way <laughs> what happens when you burn a highly pine cone. Yeah, I read the description, but I, I'm kind of curious now. Highly ah. pine cone. Perhaps due to the abnormal weather, there's been an explosive increase in Hylian Pine Cones. They are oily on the inside and burn really well. Too well, in fact, I tossed one onto the fire for kindling, and the force with which it burned opened up a whirlwind, which in turn sent all the fresh printed newspaper flying far, far away. If you find a Hylian Pine Cone on your own, whatever you do, don't throw it in a fire. Sorry, man. I am really sorry. But you brought this upon yourself. Where is it? No. Uh, I can just... Okay, it selects there as well. I better take my Jesus. That's hot. Wow, that's pretty good. What <laughs> did I tell you about burning high pine cones? You have to be careful with those things, especially when there are, oh, there are others nearby. Good grief. Ah. You're going to want to talk to somebody inside if you have any business with the like Clover Gazette. I should go collect more wood soon. I try using. Uh, I tried using a Hylian Pine Cone to fuel a fire a while back, and I got more than I beggared for. Ah. Well, seems much more efficient than... Okay, which stable first? Well, you're the lead, right? Okay, listen, our partner, we're on a trail of truth about Princess Zelda. We can't let even the smallest clue slip through our talons, our hands in your case. Uh, I don't know, I think your wings count as hands as well. I've seen Revali using those fingers. Uh, we should visit as many stables as we can. Travelers always have plenty of going ons and to talk about. Sapa! So long. I thought we were going to point me to a specific direction. But alright. Oh. Come on, there have been materials all around. And now that we actually need some, they aren't. 
Krita village. I could make a new bridge. The bridge is busted. Ah, you're Janelle. Let me guess, you have business in Rita village as well? Well, sorry to disappoint you, but the bridge is down, so there's no way across. Since the newspaper ran an article about the Rita food shortage, supply shipments have started to arrive, which is great. Mm. Mm. But with no bridge, there's no way to transport the goods to the Rita. I'm at my wits end here. And since the sun is refusing to show its face, it's cold. I might throw another Hylian Pine cone on the fire. <gasps> uh, those things burn hot. Last time I stoked the fire with, with one, it caused a gust of wind that made my bangs all freezy. Recently, that guy Gully tossed one into the, the fire next to some newspapers. The papers, they caught up in the gust of wind and flew all the way to Rita Village. <gasps> There's no way to treat the written world. Yeah, but the Rita can come and go. Couldn't they come pick this up? And I got it. I understood what I have to do, but still. I would like to fix... Oh, I can't really climb that. But I'd like to fix the bridge. Make a bridge. Wingless visitors cross at your own peril. You, you put a high pine cone in the fire. You told me to. Didn't you hear me say that it makes my banks freezy? Look at this. It looks like I have noodles on my forehead. Mm. If I was holding an open newspaper or a piece of fabric, I have been carried all the way to Rita Village. That's my idea. Not all the way to Rita Village, but it sure helps. Oh, this is break just for walk. Oh, okay, so I don't have to hit. Now it's quite far from Dragon Rush Island. That more than in the previous game. Nice. Oh, I'm afraid to fall. I guess there's not much point in having some by the angels. You, I needed you. Mm, stamina. Yeah, I should have been sick. So important item that restores some of the stamina lost into the gloom, increasing the size of your stamina wheel. Okay. Mm, yeah, I got fairies. Stamina is more important. We bring peace to the world. Uh, to the world? What's in peace to Haru? Oh, you look bigger. Oh. How are things going, mister? Oh. We're about to go practice our song. Oh. It's called the Song of the Stormwing Ark. We are all going to sing it together to save our village from the upheaval. Oh. Are you going to listen to our song, mister? Let's hear it. Ah. Yay, we love the mountains. So we'll give it our best for you. 
have already a world in a true and once a god fell from heaven, stealing the Hebrew wings. The heavens were lifeless, just as the air below things. With the world in upheaval, we pledge to, to help the Lord. Uh, a line of ships soaring, built as a passage skyward. The God ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. Its wind brought us new life, thanks to its great divine spark. Ah. You know, the songs about the ark that saved your little village a long, long time ago. Something bad happened then, just like it's happening now. Ah. Hey, that Stormwind Ark. Is it really real? I'd be so happy if it was. Ah. It, it definitely is. Papa told me it's always watching over us, high in the sky. Ah. We could sure use its help with this awful blizzard. Most of the adults aren't around anymore because of the weird weather. Okay, so the adults just left the children here? Ah. Well, if we don't have the ark and we don't have the adults, it's up to us kids to take care of the village. Practice is over for today, Shanley, you are in charge of food, and Molly will need you to make arrows. Yeah. We all got jobs to do, so let's do them. Where's Cass? Hey. Yeah, Hi. hit power. What about your job? Ah. Do you like the song? I can sing it if you want. No, that's alright. <laughs> we practice the song here, so let me know if you change your mind. Sorry, but I'm on my way home. I've got work to do. Mm. Oh no, I did it again. The pets aren't too soft to inviting. Uh, if customer, who's sleeping? I wasn't sleeping, not me. Welcome to the Swallows Roost Inn. We don't have any other guests at the moment, so rest easy and rest well. Regular bed is 20, a soft, silky soft rita down bed is 50. Silk soft, silk soft rita down bed is made with lots of rita feathers. It's soft and fluffy and gives the best sleeps ever. If you only sleep in one bed here at the Swallow's Roost, make that one. As soon as my head hits the pillow, it's like someone threw a blanket over me, and not that I ever use the beds. When you wake up again, you'll be in full energy and ready to go. Ah. Regular bed is 20, okay, never ah. mind. Okay, come again when you wanna use one of our comfy beds. Yeah, why was Molly is too small? <laughs> and the others are larger. Uh, Slipper Falcon, we had the best deals in the West. Oh, you came here. Hi. Full tummies make for a happy read. That's why I like learning new meals out of the recipe book. I saw one in there that I know everyone will love. <laughs> a fish pie made with stamina cabas. I don't have any. Doesn't that sound yummy? <sighs> the problem is I can't leave the village to catch a stamina cabas thanks to this dumb blizzard. I have everything else, tomato wheat, goat blood, butter, rock salt, Aww. but if I'm gonna make the, a fish pie, I need a fish, I need some noca bass. Well, you could use another fish from the looks of it. <gasps> Hooray, a customer! Welcome to the Slippery Falcon General Store. Thanks for stopping by in spite of the weather. <gasps> so, um, what can I do for you, miss? What is this place? <laughs> This is a shop where you can buy cooking ingredients, plus all sorts of other stuff. Although we haven't gotten much business since the blizzard took out the bridge. Hey mister, have you seen the building with the big horse on top of it across the bridge? The people there make these kind of thin books or newspapers. They used to be our best customers, but I haven't heard from them in a while. Can I help you with anything else? Uh, Aren't you guys aware 
that the bridge is down, that's why they can't come here. Sorry, our shelves are kind of empty. It's because of all the heavy snowstorms. If you need food, like fish or mushrooms, you can try poking around in the caves outside of town. There's a bunch of caves along the road to the east. And even more of them in the Hebrew Mountains. Wow, oh, there must be a lot of caves in the Hebrew Mountains. Let me get butter because we'll never find them in the wild. Sounds good. What's that last one? Oh, oil jar. My oil is extracted from plant seeds. It's very versatile in cooking and can coax flavors from ingredients used in many dishes. Also good for adding fuel to fire. Well, Hi. A whole stock. Uh, a tree. Okay. There's a lot of baby monsters. Stock those. Hang on. I didn't check the the butter. Butter made from milk of a domesticated white goat. Uh, in addition to being used in dishes like stews and munier. It's often used to make in cakes, in cakes and other sweets. Okay, arrows. Um, how much should be? 60. Yeah, I think I found many more arrows in this game than I did in the previous one. Mm, Misa's recipe book. It looks to be a collection of, of the slippery books recommending recipes. Butter apple, nut cake, fish pie. I think those two were in the previous one. First, you want to buy goat butter here at Slipper Falcon. Simply cook goat butter and an apple together, and the hot buttered apple is complete. Adding spiced pepper into the mix is a good way to warm up your whole body. Nut cake. Some ingredients may be in short supply due to the blizzard. We appreciate your patience as we restock. First, you want to buy tomato wheat, goat butter, and cane sugar here at the Slipper Falcon. Toss the string grits in a pot alongside your favorite type of nut to make a nut cake. And for an added kick, try substituting the nut with something else. An apple is a good starting point to experiment with. Uh, some ingredients may be in short supply to be, okay. First you want to buy tomato wheat and cut butter here at the slipper falcon. Along with those, add rock salts to your choice of fish and cook them all together. The na, a fish pie, is ready to eat. See, any fish. It doesn't have to be a stamina If you don't have rock salt, you might find some by mining the, from our deposits. Oh. It doesn't have to be a stamina Uh, Brazen Beak, we've got you covered. Yeah. Uh, hi, hi, thanks for coming in, even though it's snowing so hard. It's cold in the village, but it's even colder on top of the mountain. You freeze solid at the peak if you don't find a way to keep warm. Lucky for you, with some warm clothes. Ah. That brings you to the shop. To this place. Ah. This is the Brazen Beak Armor Shop. We have warmer armor. I know it's chilly here, but you know what? They say it's even colder on top of the mountain. You don't want, you don't want to freeze up there, mister. Bottle up some warm gear right here in the Brazen Beak. Uh, something else? No. Hi. Oh, people are finding more caves all the time on the road east of here. The remote caves are nice because of warm. You can hide from the cold there if you don't have any or outfits. Plus, you can find shiny ore inside the sparkly rocks sometimes. Uh -huh. We'll pay a lot for those ore, so you'll be the folks at the general store, so keep an eagle eye out for them. Yeah, let me get that. Damn. Yeah, I just have to find some Talos and then I can go back to mine them whenever I want. I didn't pay attention, but I think that's enough. Hi. Yeah. Uh, snow cool headdress, a ritual accessory made from snow bird feathers. Uh, it's adorned with a ruby, a gem that harnesses the power of fire to make cold climates more tolerable. Sure. There's a whole bunch from buying from us. So the loose hair will keep me a bit warmer. But okay. Let's come here. Yeah. Red wings. Uh, I think it was something like that. The one from Rita Village. It makes sense. 
Pega o Kerai. But does it pull? No. Okay. I'm pretty sure those would hurt me. Strong construct ball. No, okay. Just that. And so it begins. Where's Cass? Why did he leave? He and his wife, why did they leave the children here? Ah. Okay. That's that way his wife and their son. Uh, how about this one? Uh, you need something, mister? Because I'm actually kind of busy. My papa told me you can use ice fruit to freeze monster solid. Which gave me an amazing idea for an invention. My problem is I can't go out and pick fruit right now with blizz the blizzard and all. Uh, it's so not fair. This is the best invention I've come up with in, in so long. I mean, but without as fruit, I can't make it. I have some. Molly the Fletcher's quest. Uh, mister, I found a cold breeze coming from your pouch. Uh, mister. Oh, uh, what's that you got? That's the ice fruit I wanted, isn't it? Well, looks like you've also got some cold jelly-like stuff. Ah, uh, is that white choo jelly from one of the monsters that will freeze you solid if you touch it? <laughs> well, it's not exactly what I had in mind, but I bet I can use that to make my big invention. Mm -hmm. May I have... Uh, may I have one of either the ice fruit or the white choo-choo jelly, please? I think the choo-choo jelly is more easy to come by. Wow. Yay, now I can finally make my invention. Oh. When I attach this to at the tip of an arrow, I'll have an arrow that can freeze monsters from far away. <laughs> Sometimes I'm so smart I scare myself a little. I wonder what will happen with other materials. You can make arrows with all sorts of effects. Well, listen to me. With every breath, I spill a brilliance. Wow. But I should probably stop talking before I give away all my best ideas. 
Anyway, here's a thank you present. Oh. You know, the reason I like making arrows, it's my papa. He creates the strongest bows in the around. Uh, hang on. Aren't you all children of Cass? He, he doesn't create bows. The crow guy created bows. I wanted to make arrows that will go perfectly with his bows. All I have to do is keep working hard, getting my name out there, and one day wow. I'll be a world famous arrow maker. One my papa can be proud of. Can I? Ah, those are mine, mister. Hold on. It's your problem that you don't have enough wooden arrows. It's important to help each other in times of need. That's what my papa says, so if you want them, they're yours. Yeah, I'm gonna probably end this misery with that, so... Thanks for helping with the arrows. I'll keep coming up with ideas. Okay, so here's where I was I thought it was a bit lower. Oh. Didn't expect that's see. not fair at all. You know I can handle it. Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. <sighs> if we don't do anything, the village. Huh? Huh? Is that you? <laughs> Mm. Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. Have a new ritual elder. Oh, <gasps> the old guy died. Can Canoli, Canelli. It's very nice to see you again. Hmm. Do you remember my son Tulin? He's grown taller, so perhaps not yet grown up. Uh. Well, maybe I would if I, you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. Hmm. As long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. Uh. What? You think I can't? I'm already fully fledged, you know? You change your tone once I ace today's scouting trip. You all can keep wasting your time treating this song of the Stormwind arc like it's real, but not me. Listen to you. Unbelievable. Tony wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard, but he's having a trouble hearing no. Mention a song? Ah. It's an old folk song here in Birito Village. Long, long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Oh, yeah, there were flying ships on the trailer. Or so claims the song that's been passed down through generations. Hmm. It's a song for children, mind you. Few adults still parrot it as if it were true. I know one that probably would. Still, every now and then, you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched. Even if the song of the Stormwind Ark is just a children's rhyme, I suspect that there is something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. Uh, this is why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth. But Tully, he thinks we cling to the song out of cowardice. Hmm. But these are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? <clears throat> what? This is terrible news. So then, not even Haru Castle is safe. The Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow. Uh, mm. Rita would ordinarily love to contribute to our search. But this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping. 
And food has grown scarce. There's plenty of food just outside. You just have seen someone there. Uh, everyone I could spare is already out re researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. Mm. My husband hasn't had been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. Mm. I wish there was something I could do. Huh. Uh, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. Yeah, that guy is the one that makes bowls. But Freddy Hearth has many sources of information. So he might already have a lead on, about Princess Elda. You see uh, the two bonfires out of the way? Hmm. He's in the lodge near there. If you like to try to visit the, him. So much to do. Hmm. Imagine food reserves and supplies bringing audience and such. This village elder gig just isn't sitting right with me. Life was so much easier when all I had to do was hunt. Just me and my bow. Hmm. But you didn't keep, keep, come here to hear me complain. Uh, what can I do to help you with? Storm Minor? Hmm. That's the name of a ship that features in an old little children's song. As the sun goes, long ago, when a disaster threatened a village, a god sent us a great fine ship. The blessed winds carried by the ship put everything right. Hmm. Doesn't sound like something that really happened, huh? But this never any blizzard counts as a disaster to me. I'd take anything if it would save us from this, even a children's story. I guess the truth is somewhere up there past the ominous cloud. If there's anything I can use for you, and was in Zelda, hmm. haven't heard anything myself, so if you do try asking parts. He has good sources, if you want to lay down Prince Zelda, be him, be fine hard of the lodge, fire more fires, nothing. Hmm. Alright then, if you decide if it's hard, take care of yourself. The closer you get to the clouds, the colder you'll get. You need to take extra precautions against the blizzard. Hmm. Ah. Fire. And concern for tooling. Uh, he believes that he's fully fledged, but he has not yet grasped one of the most fundamental lessons. One cannot accomplish great feats without lies at one side. I hope he realized that soon. Oh yeah, there's been profiles here that I haven't been reading. Uh, a rito warrior who once helped Link save Rito Village, he took the mantle of Village Elder from Canelli to become uh, the new leader of his people. As a new elder, he is under pressure to deal with the strange weather assailing Rito Village. The son of the Rito Elder, Tema, he, when Link first visited the, his village, Tolin was still a child growing up in his father's shadow and his eyes would light up when he watched Link and Tebo practice at a flight range. Uh, has to spread my decision from Cork Forest. The, the tree fairy with a song in his heart. He's only capable, he's only visible to certain people. The power of his dance can increase the size of Link's pouches, but he has trouble keeping track of the Korok seeds his magical marks require. Ah, and there's also a symbol in the background. Uh, Araro, someone who shares the name with the first king of Haru, now we, we know that he was. He claims the strange arm Link finds himself with was once his. He and Zelda appear to Link in a vision. Learning more about him may lead to clues about the princess's disappearance. Okay, the second paragraph was probably after the first tier. Impa, former Former chief? Ah, so Pai is the chief now of the Shika who served the royal family of Harold for generations and is a living witness to its near extinction. Uh, okay, near okay, near extinction of the royal family. Sometime after guiding Link through the calamity, Impa made her granddaughter Paya the new chief. Being over a century old hasn't stopped Impa from knowing her part in the search for Princess Zelda. She's investigating the geoglyphs around Hyrule, certain they will provide clues to where the princess is. Tusha, a young scientist whose genius earns her the role of heading up Death's research. Uh, Joshua finds it thrilling to be working with Pura, and though she helps with her investigation in the princess of the disappearance, she's glad to focus her time in on the depths. Uh, Robbie, uh, head of Death's research, head of 
poor pet developments. An engineer was eccentric style adds lots of to his reputation as a wild genius. He once helped Link from his research facility at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Since then, he's moved to the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab to help Pura develop the Pura Pad. Rob thinks he did much of the work on the device, so he's a bit grumpy that it's not named after him. Um, Pura, the highest authority on ancient technology, she has served Princess Zelda's family for much of her life and has worked with the princess to research the Zelda civilization. Most recently, they started an investigation into the outbreak of the gloom. She has used herself as a test subject. I did read that. Why is it Marcus new? I'm pretty sure I read that. She has used herself as a test subject in, in her experiments of advice being over century uh, in age. She reversed her age into the extreme and actually looks like a child not too long ago. Mm. Ah, the new Zelda was added there. Uh, Zelda, the hair to a power that imprisons darkness. She, she sacrificed her freedom over a hundred years ago to keep Calamity Ganon still away and prevent him from further destroying Hyrule. After Link helped free her from the long duty, she committed herself to rebuilding and restoring Hyrule, but has now gone missing. Alright. Everybody's landing. Oh. I'm sorry, Kavali. Well, who knows? Maybe. That's a big maybe. We could. He's retired somewhere else. <laughs> 